This is a quick overview of how each one of these flow meters work and what they're most ideally selected for. The mag meter is an electromagnetic flow meter that works by creating electromagnetic lines of flux where the fluid, being the conductive medium, passes by this magnetic field and experiences uh, forces opposing it to move forward. So it's the um, the voltage created by the fluid moving past the electromagnetic field is proportional to the velocity of this uh, of the fluid. So Q equals AV, we get flow rate. It is for conductive fluids. It could be cement, water, wastewater. It must be full. Its enemy is bubbles. And um, it's, it is proportional to the velocity of the moving fluid. The Coriolis flow meter is a mass flow meter. It's F equals omega cross X. And we, we have a tube in here. We excite the tube to vibrate back and forth. And as the fluid flows through the tube, at zero flow, the tube will be running back and forth. And these two end pickoffs, the, um, the phase difference between them will be nothing. But as the fluid moves through, this one will slow down, this one will speed up, and there'll be a phase angle difference proportional to the mass of the fluid running through that tube with some spring constant and neutral thermoelastic coefficient of modulus of elasticity. So it is a very well chosen tube that doesn't care about the temperature. Enemy of a Coriolis flow meter is vibration um, because it's a vibrating machine. This is an ultrasonic. It's a time of flight between an upstream and a downstream sensor clamped on the outside of a pipe. And we measure, we send a, a pulse from one to the other and from the other to the other. If they're both the same, then there's no velocity in the, in the fluid. And then if this one goes faster, downstream goes slower than the upstream, then we look at the difference between the time of flight between both of those. We do Snell's law and we know the angle and all that good stuff. And from that, we measure the velocity. The enemy of these is they uh, can get misaligned. They don't like uh, rust buildup in the inside. They are a time domain machine. They're really nice. A vortex meter, it's the von Karman vortex meter. It's a velocity measuring machine, whereas there's a bluff body in the fluid. And as the fluid moves past the bluff body, after the bluff body is a sensor that measures the von Karman vortex shedding frequency. That shedding frequency is directly proportional to the velocity. This machine can measure gas or liquid, and it doesn't care if the fluid has uh, moisture in it. This is a much better selection than conventional thermal mass flow meters for wet gases, biogas and, and such. The other thing, this machine does not care about the composition of the fluid, like a conventional thermal mass flow meter needs to be calibrated for your specific mixture of methane. This does not care. The downside of this, again, is it doesn't like vibration, and it doesn't measure really low velocities. This is a time-of-flight thermal flow meter where we have two little heaters spaced a very small distance from one another, and we run, we look at the, um, the time of uh, transit time, if you will, between one and the other, and we can tell what the fluid velocity is with that. It's extraordinarily fast. It's very low um, flow rate. This is a boiler flow meter, methane flow meter. It doesn't care about the composition. This does not care about the composition. This is what you want to use for your methane um, and other such meters. It is in competition to such flow meters like Sierra Boiler Track and such, as is this. A turbine flow meter is a mechanical device where we're counting the um, how many times a propeller spins past a little hall sensor and it goes bip, 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 and it's therefore in the time domain. The enemy of, vortex, of, of turbine meters is particulate and bubbles. If you get fur in here, it clogs up the the propeller, it's not a wonderful thing. So they call it the turbine, we call it propeller. 
This is another thermal flow meter. This is like a lot of thermal flow meters. It's um, the, the enemy of this flow meter is, is corrosive fluids. This is a battery power to last for two years. It's very little power. These three flow meters here are thermal flow meters, all using a LFE on the bottom and a very small channel on the top, working a lot like a lot of Sierra flow meters. This is an improvement on it. It is extraordinarily fast, very low power, and these are coming out in uh, more industrial uh, versions in, in some time. This is an inline ultrasonic. It uses the same engine as this uh, ultrasonic flow meter does. These ultrasonic transducers are mounted and this will work for deionized water. It's a time domain. Its enemy is bubbles. This is a hundred liter per minute competition to any of the Sierra things. What's different is we've got some display. You can change things around. It's got a huge display. They're all 4 to 20 uh, Modbus RTU and they're very, very fast.